Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. So let's see what's going on for you today. If you're new, hi, welcome. This is going to be a, a general reading for significant Pisces placements. So wherever you have significant Pisces placements in, in your chart, that's where this could apply. Uh, or if you're dealing with a Pisces, you could also get a message. But take what resonates, disregard the rest. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Could be a particularly busy day at work, especially if you own your own business. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much if you have. The devil, be mindful of boundaries and be mindful of uh, just looking after yourself, taking breaks, okay? Giving yourself time to breathe, to clear your head. Yeah, hang in. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> I've already started channeling messages so I kind of lost my train of thought but like share comment subscribe if you haven't thank you if you have sorry if I said that already um and thank you all for sharing your stories and your feedback with me I really appreciate it and if you want to see readings for all the signs I do that on my other channel advice to think twice linked below all right all that being said Pisces what's going on for you today and remember time is fluid this could have already happened for some of you it's happening for others and for others it will be happening in the next couple of days or couple of days or so okay what is going on for Pisces placements today all right here we go all right bottom of the deck we have the eight of cups walking away from something that is no longer fulfilling walking away from something that has served its purpose and it's it's not giving us any anything positive at this point it's not giving us anything or anything positive at this point okay so let's see current situation yeah the three of swords so the three of swords with the eight of cups can talk about a breakup a separation where we're just letting go of the whole thing right uh this could be where someone hurt us, betrayed us, uh, broke our heart, disappointed us, okay, uh, in any arena of life. And with the Eight of Cups, it's like, it either feels like this is just the last straw, or it's a situation where it's like, I choose not to be sad over this anymore. I just, I release it, I forgive everything and everyone involved, um, because I just want to be, I want to release myself from this pain. I don't want to be crying like this every day. I don't want to be hurt every day anymore. No, it's not right what happened, but... I know it's not right. I know it wasn't fair. I'm going to give myself closure and I'm just going to walk away from it. That's the feeling that I'm getting with these two. The challenge, we have the eight of swords. Yeah, because you've been stuck there. You've been stuck in that place of pain for eight days, eight weeks, eight months for some of you. Every time you think about it, you break your own heart again. Every time you think about it, you break your own heart again. And you haven't been able to think about anything else because it was just so painful. Okay. And this is like, for some of you, it'll be different for everyone, but for some of you, you just can't figure out why this had to happen. You can't figure out why this person did what they did. Uh, maybe you just never got the answers. You just never got the closure. And I was saying this to someone the other day where, uh, you know what? Sometimes we give ourselves the closure. Sometimes we just we should just take our power back from the other person and be like, I don't even care what your reasons are. It's wrong on all levels. It's undeserved and unwarranted on all levels. That's all I need to know. It's a you problem. It's not me, okay? I didn't do anything to deserve this. I know that. That's very clear. And that's all the closure I need, okay? I've had to do that myself, actually. Okay, and the foundation. We have the world. Yeah, definitely. So it might be painful, to say the least. Um, but it was all meant to happen this way because, like I say, a cycle in your life has completed. Whether this is a situation at work, it's a job, it's a contract, it's a relationship, it's a friendship, it's a routine, it's something that you've been invested in for a long, long time. It's served its purpose in your life, whatever it is, and you have to elevate now. You have to elevate. You have to go to the next level. Lessons have been learned, okay? I also want to say that. Lessons have been learned, which is also why it's important to... Again, use that as as towards the closure. You know, I learned what I needed to learn from this. I've come to a place, a place of peace within myself when it comes to the situation because I know I didn't deserve this. I don't need anyone else to tell me I didn't deserve this. I know that, and that's enough, okay? Um, and I choose to look for 
other things. I want more from life. I don't deserve this. I won't. I don't want this. I don't accept this. I want more and deserve more from life. Okay. So that what what that means is you've learned the lessons. That was the whole point to get you to this place, right? In the recent past, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy might have been involved. This could be the person that hurt you. This could be the person that you've been going back and forth with. This could be the person that's kept you stu stuck. This could be the person you have lessons have had lessons with. Okay. Male or female, doesn't matter. On the mind, we have the High Priestess. Again, this place of peace, this place of clarity. And again, I will I will say, it, if it's inner peace. It's inner clarity. Where we know the answers, and it's enough that we know the answers. We don't need anyone from the outside to validate them. You know, we don't need anyone from the outside, the external world, to take accountability, to take ownership for what they did. We know what they did was wrong. And it's like at this point I don't I don't care that you feel bad about it. I don't need you to make amends. I've learned what I needed to learn from that. I've seen who you are. I've seen who I am because of that. And that's enough for me. Okay? I don't need to go back. I don't need to give you time to apologize. I don't need to give you time to make amends. I don't want to. Okay? And it's that energy, that mindset, that attitude that gives you peace. Because you're giving yourself the closure. You're giving yourself the answers. Okay? Because of the lessons that you've learned, you see the truth of the situation, the absolute truth, not my truth, your truth, someone else's in between, the absolute truth, okay, with that third eye, that third eye sees, like bird's eye view, everything, okay, for what it is, whether we like it or not. So what's happening today as a result of all this? We have the seven of wands, we have judgment, and we have the Ten of Cups. Yeah, for some of you, you are making a final call to free yourself. You see how you've opened your eyes with the Judgment card? And that has unbound you and released you. Okay? And you, de you did that. You did that for yourself. And so today what you're doing is, you're for some of you, you're coming up with new boundaries. You're incorporating these lessons and coming up with new boundaries, identifying what makes you happy, what you want, what you don't want, what you want to focus on, where you want to head towards. Uh, creating those rules for yourself, creating those boundaries for yourself and starting a whole new chapter in your life. For others of you, this could also be where you're making a final decision and you're telling someone, no, I don't want to reconcile. No, don't. I don't want to make peace. I've got peace for myself. I'm not going to, you know, absolve you. If you feel guilty, that's a you problem. You need to figure it out. You know, I hold no grudges towards you. If you feel guilty, that's your problem, you know. And for some of you, actually, that's their punishment. I'm just going to put it out there. That's kind of how karma works. Because now the shoe's on the other foot and someone is experiencing what they did to you they're feeling it for themselves and that's why now they're feeling bad and that's why now they're running to you to apologize to make amends hoping it will make them feel better hoping you forgiving them will make them feel better just like we were hoping over here that them giving us the answers will make us feel better and they never did right they never did they chose not to they were busy doing other things so it's not a case of being mean it's not a case of being hurtful and spiteful and being like, you know what, you didn't give me answers, I'm not going to give you any answers either. See how that feels. It's not about that. Karma's taking care of that on its own. We don't need to con contribute. Uh, we just say, you know what, yeah, I, I have moved on from this. I released this situation. I don't need your answers. I don't need your clarity. I, d I needed it when I needed it. And you chose not to give it to me, so I, I gave it to myself. That's fine. I don't need this right now, okay? I don't want to do this. I don't want to hear you out. Why would I do that? It took me a long time to release the situation, to release myself, to stop thinking about it, and to start focusing on other things, on positive things. Why would I put myself back in that place to hear you rehash everything when I don't need to hear it? I don't need those explanations. I didn't have them when I needed them, so I'm not going to give you the opportunity to get things off your chest now, just so you feel better. You know what I mean? Because that's what this feels like. Now someone's running to you to get things off their chest, hoping that'll make them feel better. But it's not necessarily about you. Do you know what I mean? It's about them making themselves feel better because now they, they're feeling it. Isn't that how it works? 
we were like, listen, I have found peace for myself. I'm not going to put myself back in that situation. Sorry. You know? So it is what it is. It is what it is. What else for Pisces here? You have the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the Empress. You've got a lot of offers and opportunities coming your way. Either one in particular that's kind of been start and stop, start and stop is now coming forward. Okay, water signs, fire signs, uh, maybe significant here. Um, I get that this is new. Okay, this is new because it's someone who sees the, the new and improved version of yourself, right? This is who you are once you've come out of these lessons. The Empress, male or female, doesn't matter, okay? This is someone who knows their worth, knows their value, loves and appreciates themselves first, has boundaries, okay? Has balance. It's like, I know my worth. I'll entertain what you're, what you're offering, but I, I will make the decision if it's on my level or not, if it's what I deserve or not, okay? And it's not from a cocky place. It's from a healthy perception of self, you know what I mean? So you're, gonna, you're looking at at least one or two different offers presented to you today. Okay, what else? Where is this going for Pisces? The Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Star. Yeah, see, someone's trying to come to you to make them feel better, and you're not having it. You're not having it. You're not doing it. You're saying, listen, I healed myself with no help from you. Thank you very much. And I think you should do the same. And I'm not getting this, again, it's not being bitter. It's just being unemotional to the whole thing and understanding that, you know what, this is your karma. You need to deal with it. It's not about me. So I'm not going to get involved. Okay? It's not about me. Because someone is hoping that you helping them, you latching on to them now, or rather allowing them to latch on to you, is going to heal them and make them feel better. And they just need to figure out some things for themselves, and that's just what it is. Okay, you're focused on the new, as you should be. What about these offers and opportunities coming in? Page of Cups, Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords. Yeah, definitely. Especially if you're dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and it's been kind of hot and cold. I feel like it's been hot and cold because you've been dealing with creating boundaries for yourself, what you want, what you don't want. So you've been clarifying that for yourself. Therefore, manifestation has been kind of stalled until you got clear on what you wanted. And I feel like f for those of you who are dealing with another water sign, they've been dealing with the same thing. So it's kind of been hot and cold, hot and cold between the two of you. But here is the message, the communication. Okay, there's a lot of chemistry here. They find you very attractive. You make them happy. You know, you're a ray of sunshine. And that's how you view each other. And with the Ace of Swords, there is clarification and, and, and clear communication because you've freed yourself from something and they have also freed themselves from something. And now they want to come talk to you or vice versa. Okay, remember all this can be reversed. And the person in your past, well, they can just, yeah, they're stuck in their head with their memories of what they did, what they didn't do, and that's their karma. And it's not about being happy that with the fact that this person is dealing with karma. Karma is karma. It doesn't matter how we feel about it. But there is a sense of, you know what? It is what it is. You got to deal with it. You know? Because they can't stop thinking about what they did, what they didn't do, what they could have had. But with the two of swords, they're completely blocked. Because you're not talking. And more importantly, you're not allowing them to speak. Because, again, you're like, I've found my place of peace. I have my answers. I have my clarity. I gave them to myself. Thank you very much. So you left me wondering. And you left me trying to figure things out and scramble for answers for a long time. And I had to figure it out for myself. And I did. So now you want to talk because now you're feeling bad about what happened. Now you're feeling it yourself. And it's like, oh, my God. If Pisces forgives me, that'll make it all better. It's almost like, that's the feeling. If Pisces forgives me, then this will stop. I won't have to feel this. It's almost like, if you forgive, that's what's going on in their head, right? 
if you forgive them, if you hear them out and you feel sorry for them and you feel bad for them, it, it almost like, yeah, it takes away their pain. Not necessarily it makes okay what they did, but it takes the pain away, you know? And maybe it justifies. If you believe their BS, if you believe their explanations, if you believe their rationalizations, their justifications, it's almost like they can believe it too, right? I'm not a crappy person. I did this because I had no choice because of this and that and the other. And if you believe that, then, oh, cool, then that must be true. I'm not a crappy person. I don't need to look at myself, you know? That's what I'm feeling here. And you not allowing them to do that, mm, they are in a tailspin, but that is not your problem, Pisces. That is not your problem or concern. That is not your problem or concern. You don't owe this person anything. You do not owe them anything. Okay? And you've come to a point where you're like, I, you don't owe me anything at this point. You do you, and good luck to you, you know? Because they messed up. They messed up bad. But they didn't care. They didn't care. They knew you were hurting. They may have blocked you, dodged your calls. When this happened, right, and you're trying to figure out what happened, like, tell me what happened. I don't understand. Why did you do this? Right? Nothing. Crickets. And they kind of, I'm not going to lie, for some of you, they feel good about it. They feel good knowing that you're struggling and you're trying to figure out and you're still, you need them to give you some answers. They feel good about that. For those of you, they just didn't give it a second thought, which is, I don't know if, which one's worth, worse, sorry. Um, but they knew, they knew how hurt you were and they knew you were struggling. Okay? Difference now is they're feeling it and they can't take it, they can't handle it. Like, oh my God, this hurts so bad. Oh, this is what Pisces must have felt. But it's not, it doesn't make them wanna be a better person, you know? It doesn't make them go, I need to take all this and look at myself and figure some stuff out, because that's not okay what I did. No, it makes them go, oh, let me run to Pisces. If Pisces forgives me, then this is all okay. I need to look at myself. Do you know what I mean? There's a very subtle but very powerful difference there. But Pisces, you're unfazed and unbothered, which I love to see. You definitely have communication coming in. Now that you're perfectly clear on what you want, what you don't want, or you're having this final conversation with yourself, or it's some sort of gesture, like with the other person where you block them, or you leave them on red, or I don't know, okay? Um, that unlocks this that has been growing and kind of brewing under the surface okay someone's just infatuated with you <laughs> and you them actually okay page of cups knight of cups and so you're going to see progress there and with the knight of wands it will grow very quickly um because i do get a, sen a sense of something that had start stop energy to it or it was kind of hot and cold or it would start and and then kind of pause and then some else would spark and then it will kind of pause, okay? And I feel like it's because both of you are kind of going through the same thing just at different times, right? And now that you are free, they're free, okay? Look, everything is like rope is being cut, chain is being broken on both sides, okay? Um, now you can come together and it will grow very quickly from here, okay? And I get this person will spoil you, Pisces. They will spoil you as you should be. But you know what? You're going to spoil them as well because there's a mutual energy here, as it should be, okay? Mutual love, mutual respect, mutual support, mutual admiration. Because you don't need each other, you choose each other. There's a very big difference, okay? And if this is going on in work, if this is going on in friendship, if this is going on within family, whatever the case may be, again, something new that you've kind of been trying to move towards but it's not been coming together okay you weren't quite sure what was happening there but you were still kind of dealing with this thing right here okay you you're getting the final piece of the puzzle you're getting the clarity you're figuring out what was holding you back what was holding back your manifestation potentially okay for some of you, it could have been this final conversation. For some of you, it could have been this final gesture of maybe for the longest time, you prayed to hear from this person. 
those prayers are, were still kind of out there, right? Because you sent them out. Because it was, it was bad. Now your prayers are being answered. So in itself, that is a blessing. So your prayers are being answered. This person is coming to talk. But maybe you needed that to realize that actually, you know what? I don't need this anymore. I don't need this. I thought I did. I thought this would have made me feel some kind of way. I thought this would do something for me, but it's not. And so that's cool. That's great. It's good to know. But again, it's all about you. Okay? And this other person right here, they need to deal with their karma. Whether they do or not is not our business or concern. Okay? And you're focusing on this amazing new thing because it's like, aha moment, clarity moment, judgment, ace of swords. That's it. That's what I was missing. I feel complete now. I feel ready to go with this. I, You know what I mean? So Pisces, that is what I have. Amazing reading today. Amazing. We've been having some kind of humdingers, but this is like awesome. Okay, this is great. And this is like how karma works. This is how it should be. This I love it. <laughs> okay. Um, so if you're just at the beginning of this journey, if you're still right here right now, that's the way to go about it. Turn within. Your answers and your closures do not lie with the other person. Okay? They can't give you answers. They can't give you closure. They got no clue what they're doing. And they don't understand your pain. They don't have that compassion. Okay? So you can give you that compassion. You can give you that love. You can give you that forgiveness. You figure out for yourself why you put yourself in that situation, what you learned from that situation, how you've grown from that situation. And you'll find that at some point when things, things start to click together, you don't even care about why this other person did what they did. Because you understand that you know what? Maybe they're just messed up and that's okay. I don't need to understand them. I don't need to understand their motives. All I need to know is what they did was wrong, undeserved, unwarranted for me, and I don't accept it. I don't need to know anything else. I don't care about their excuses. I don't care about their reasons. I really don't, okay? That is where the healing happens. That is where the transformation happens. And then you have this amazing once in a lifetime type of opportunity that can flourish and can blossom. Because if it's not in your life already, if you're still, like I say, if you're still in this box, this is yet to come in. When you're starting to see the light, this will come in. And then you'll kind of be in the middle ground sorting this out and then this will kind of start and stop okay follow the process like we've described it and figure out where you are on that timeline but eventually you'll get to the point where you're like clarity aha moment i'm free from this i'm no longer bound to this i don't need to know i really don't i'm completely at peace not knowing why this person did what they did it's not about them okay all i need to know is what it taught me and all I need to know is that I'm where I need to be. And now I know some things I didn't know before. And it's not being grateful for this other person. That's that's kind of a stretch to say. But it's being grateful for the lessons. Because it, it changes you in such an amazing way. Okay, It teaches you to love yourself. It teaches you to respect yourself. It teaches you to protect yourself. To have your boundaries. To have standards. And what that's going to do, it'll clear out this type of individual, this type of situation from your life and from your energy because you are no, you're no longer accepting it. So it can no longer come in. Seven of Wands, it's not coming in. It's not coming into your world. But what is going to be coming in is things and people and situations that match your energy. And if your energy is this beautiful, high vibe, positive, creative, uplifting, loving that's what you'll attract and that's how you end up in the happily ever after with the ten of cups regardless of what arena of life this is developing for you all right pisces so i hope this helps let me know okay i'm really looking forward to your comments on this one because it's beautiful and it goes deep and it's amazing okay so i'm gonna leave it there um thank you all for watching and for interacting with me for commenting for liking for sharing for subscribing i appreciate you all let's have an absolutely fantastic day and i'll see you in the next video bye for now